venues in all of sports. Cameron Indoor Stadium on the campus of Duke University where the Blue Devils open their season tonight with the Cameron Crazies against one of the top mid-major programs in the country, Belmont University. One thing for Duke for certain this year, it'll be an historic season for their Hall of Fame coach. He began as a student of the game, Mike Krzyzewski. He was eager to learn, willing to lead, hungry to win. But the victories were only a reflection of his real purpose. To teach, to motivate, to unite teams, and make outstanding young men of his players. He did it with patience, discipline, and love. The formula that built Duke's basketball legacy, and in the process, a legend of his own. A formula that has taken him to the threshold of history. A name of the iconic kind. A symbol of excellence. Simply known as Coach K. Sometimes it's hard to believe he's walking on the floor for the 32nd season here as head coach of the Blue Devils. A staggering stretch of excellence and now on the verge of becoming number one all time as the Blue Devils and the Belmont Bruins open their season. Johnson gets it inside. Scott Saunders lays it in. Curry, nice move, comes up short, gets the rebound inside. And Mason Plumley and a hell ball. Philosophically, Duke wants to do this. In the past, the post players have been role guys. Mike Krzyzewski wants them to be assertive and provide some. Johnson, last year the backup point, but he's starting at the two guard. And that's one of the reasons why he can get to the basket. No matter who we play against. Plumley. As a younger brother. That's supposed to happen, isn't it? I think so. Oh, nice follow. J.J. Mann, just in the game, gets the offensive rebound, banks it in, and the foul. The sophomore out of Georgia last year. Big surprise, the big impact that he had. He's got certainly Belmont a lot more. They'll play 11. Nice jumper again. Four confidence right now, Mason Plummer. Nice entry pass, hedge pass. Plumley taking his time. Curry, good open look. Understands, doesn't have a look at the rim. Feels the defense. Johnson shot one goal, but right there on one thing he's told him, and he doesn't like to say too much. This is the one thing he's told him. Just it's already the 16th foul on Belmont. Those missed threes turning into trends here. At Belmont, he's won over 500 games at Belmont alone, over 600. He, he knows those guys who have a major challenge in front of him with Mike Krzyzewski. Nick Hedgebap, the senior from Crossville, Alabama. It's taught upon rebounding the basketball, okay, to turn and create. On the defensive end of the floor, in just a matter of a couple of weeks, it looks to me like they've made great strides. Last year, the backup point guard. Well, last year, only averaged 18 minutes a game, yet was still second on the team in free throws attempted. But they saw the success ratio. Dawkins, nice move to the basket. Question. I, there's no reason to take somebody off the floor, particularly a shooter who's been hot. Nice. He'll come up with it. Nice feed inside. Scott Saunders finished. Hanlon, nice feed. Oh, pretty pass. The senior, the lone senior, knocks it in. Of men, in the best of circumstances, anyway. Austin Rivers. Saunders, tough shot. But Rivers might be the most talented player. And sometimes that's not easy. Nice feet inside. And JJ Mann gets it. Thornton left open. Johnson inside. Hedge path. Once again, Mason Plumley. Deron Johnson able to finish. Carmel grew up in Raleigh. His father played. His father played at Yale. 
or ACC academic All-America. As Kelly knocks down the second. And accountability on a daily basis. And that's very hard to live up. Points to lead Belmont. Curry, smooth jumper. <laughs> Curry, smooth jumper. For the steal. Handling wide open. Man. The opener for both these schools is J.J. Mann. The floater, tough shot, backs it in. Behind it was player safety. Nice pass. The rim and you afford him out to pick up a charge. Curry finding the range. From the Belmont Bruins. Thornton, nice pass. Kelly the finish and a foul. Different ways. You know, every team seems to have a player. Not this. Rivers, long three-pointer. Oh, rattles in and out. Thornton, a three. Girl today. Listen, you got to pay your dues before you get that gig. <laughs> They've changed the format as Hanlon knocks down the three. Ian Clark. And Hedgepeth. The commander-in-chief visiting, I guess he was a little bit long. There's Clark, back out. Hanlon can't get it to go. Clark finally gets on the board. Chip teams. Nice little jump hook, can't get it to fall. But there's that imposing side, and they're just so big across the front line. Oh, the guards really take control. Clark draws the foul, count it, and one. And Clark from Memphis, Tennessee. He's the uh, Atlantic Sun preseason player of the year. J.J. Mann for three. Last year, forcing turnovers. Handling. Hits a three. It's, it's a six-point game. Got some offense right now, but at some point, do you get him in there for a two or three-minute stretch? And earned himself a scholarship this year. They love him as a big gym rat. Well, Mick Hedgepeth, the six-nine senior. And what both teams hope will be long, long seasons. J.J. Mann again the drive. Good open look, Drew Hanlon. That's a three. Belmont within one. Defeated Duke here at Cameron. St. John's back in 2000. Kelly inside and a foul. Nine points and six rebounds. The junior could raises that level. Rivers, tough shot, left hand. Pumbley on the follow. Dangerous pass. Stolen by Thornton. Rivers ahead of the pack. And Karan Johnson with a tough answer comes right back at Ryan Kelly. Thornton the drive. Gets it to go. He has come off the bench and made big plays. Is a top five player in Duke history. That's an awful lot of fire. Ian Clark, nice drive to the basket, finish. Second, they come back, they cut it to two. They lose again. The players might disagree. I think they feel like they belong already. Thornton hits a big free throw. That last foul on Clark, his fourth. Wouldn't surprise you to see Thornton try to make a little steal off the inbound here if he makes this free throw. Is he going to hang around and think about it? Such an emotional player. And no fear in this guy. Uh, he's come down a couple of times and made tough shots under duress, taking some contact. Nice spin move, Clark, and he's fouled. Fun way to start the college basketball season. I know one of these teams is going to be heartbroken in a little over 51 seconds. Curry almost lost it. Curry looking. Dawkins hits a three! Andre Dawkins! Clock winding down. Yeah, that's Tyler Thornton as well as he's played. I'm not sure he's got that kind of range and that kind of poise. 
talking about two elite shooters and Seth Curry and Andre Dawkins. And this as big a shot as he's hit. Dawkins, who led the team in three-point field goals made last year. That's his first one tonight. First. Ron Johnson will push. Johnson gets by, gets inside, and it's back to two tonight with a chance to give Duke a four-point lead. Perfect free throw. He's five for five from the line. Two clutch free throws. Final seconds. Johnson looking. Clark's going to have to put it up. And Duke holds on. Let's see if the basket will count. Won't have any difference in the outcome. The officials discussing, but the Duke Blue Devils survive. And they'll change the top board as Mike Krzyzewski will get his 901st career victory now, one shy of tying Bobby Knight for most all time in Division I men's basketball. And Duke surviving this one. What a performance from Belmont, but Duke getting some clutch free throws from Ryan Kelly to seal it. And great performance from Mason Public. Well, you saw the emergence, I think, of, of several guys. Obviously, Austin Rivers' ability to draw fouls, get to the rim early, but Mason Plumley, philosophically, they want that interior game to up its scoring level, and Mason Plumley was more than up to the task. Seth Curry, an admirable job running the lead guard position. And we'll have all the post-game coverage. We'll hear from Mike Krzyzewski as his team wins a nail-biter, a terrific, exciting opener. Here for both teams, tremendous performance from Belmont. Great comeback, but they fall short here at Cameron Indoor Stadium as Duke wins once again. As they win their 37th consecutive home game. Final score, Duke 77, Belmont 76. The Doris Burke and our entire ESPN crew. This is Mike Green saying ESPN's coverage of men's college basketball continues. Let's go to the studio.